This morning we are at Disney's Riviera Resort and we are doing the Topolino's Breakfast a la Art with Mickey and Friends. If you don't know, we do dining reviews every single Monday, so be sure to check those out. So this breakfast here at Topolino's is actually a character breakfast, if you couldn't tell by the name, with Mickey and friends. And it is Mickey, Minnie, Donald, and Daisy. They come all around to your table. This is actually a table service breakfast, so there is no buffet. You actually order off of a menu, and you start out with the assorted pastries. This comes with seasonal Danish chocolate chip muffins, croissants, epi bread, honey butter, house-made jam, and chocolate hazelnut spread. They also serve their Riviera juice, which is kind of the same juice you can get everywhere on property now. It's the guava, passion fruit, and orange juice. They also have some specialty cocktails here for breakfast, so I got a floral bellini. It also comes with floral ice cubes, which is the whole bellini itself is elderflower, citrus, and peach. That is actually really good. And I'm actually gonna try and eat the ice cubes after. <laughs> but. The one really nice thing about having like flavored ice cubes inside of drinks is that it doesn't make your drink too watery whenever the ice cubes do start to melt. Hi, Nikki. <laughs> Hi. You like that? Uh, yeah, I'm like a dancer, like Daisy. I tried very hard on this. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, how cute. <laughs> Good? Yep. Oh, thanks, Mickey. <laughs> Do you want a picture? That's all right. What? Can sure. I get a picture of just okay. you, Mickey? Sure. <laughs> Since you're there. Perfect. And now just you, I guess, right? Oh. Perfect. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so pulling from the little pastry basket that we have here, which, by the way, if you didn't know, somewhere in a Disney Cruise Line little polo, this is very reminiscent of Animator's Palette, just the way that it's kind of set up with the Danish bowl or the bas whatever red basketball, whatever you want to call it, but and these uh, cute little butter spreader, jam spreader thingies, like little paintbrushes. Uh, I'm gonna go for this. I think it's an apple croissant tart thing. Not too bad. I think I would like a little bit more filling on the inside. It's a little lacking on the filling, but otherwise it's uh, nice and sweet. It has a little bit of cinnamon, I think, in there, or maybe brown sugar. The pastry is still very light, and it's good. But I, I would definitely have a little bit more apple filling or whatever type of filling they put in there, because it's not always apple. Sometimes it varies between what they have so um, another thing that's in here is the epi bread if you guys watched our dining review from dinner uh, this is like this is the bread that they serve uh, for the table this is the bread that you get with the ricotta cheese it's absolutely amazing and really you can just eat this plain you don't really need any of the jams or the honey butters with it at all you like that <laughs> oh am i supposed to turn <laughs> Oh, yeah, that looks good. <laughs> You're a writer? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot to give you that. There we go. Yeah. Got it? Yeah. Thanks, Minnie. <laughs> oh, I'm good. I got it. Have a hug. Thank you. So for my entree here, I had the spice sausage hash. This is a poached hen egg, English muffin, potatoes, pearl onions, churon sauce, and fine herbs. Now the way that it is presented and served to you is the English muffin is on the bottom. It is toasted. 
And then you've got like the potatoes over top of that. You've got kind of like that spiced sausage on there, the pearl onions, uh, and then the eggs on top of that with that chiron sauce. All in all, I think that it is surprisingly a very good dish. When we sat down and like looked at the menu, because I am terrible at looking at a menu before we get to an actual restaurant, um, I was actually like really worried that I wasn't gonna find anything to eat here. And I definitely wasn't gonna get two eggs any style, because I feel like that's not really worth the price coming here. So uh, this is actually surprisingly pretty good. The It's not super spicy as it would indicate. It's actually more of just like that flavor in there. Uh, and then, the Tyrone sauce mixed with the egg, and then you've got the English muffin on the bottom. It all really blends really well together. So I would actually recommend that you get this and try it, uh, just because it's a little bit different. The only thing that I will say that I would criticize about the dish is that I feel like the pearl onions really don't go with the dish overall. Either they're not cooked enough, or if they were supposed to be flavored in a certain way, it just kind of seems to act against the overall flavor of the dish. But other than that, it's actually, it is very good. breakfast this morning I got the ham croissant this is ham brie bechamel field greens and a lemon vinaigrette and the field greens actually come on the side and then all the cheeses and ham are on the croissant so it's basically like a ham croissant sandwich with cheese on it however the way it's made I was more comfortable eating it with a fork and cutting it which it actually works out really nice that way the bechamel is kind of poured all over top of the sandwich there is plenty of cheese it is amazing this is obviously a warm sandwich, warm croissant, warm ham and cheese. The ham that they use in the sandwich is actually really good. It doesn't just taste like some lunch meat ham. And there's quite a bit on there along with the cheese. The field greens with the lemon vinaigrette that comes on the side is actually kind of a nice side to go with this because this is more of like a heavier sandwich with the cheese and everything. And you know, a light side kind of goes nice with this dish. So overall, I like this whole entire breakfast. I thought maybe the croissant was gonna be a little bit smaller, so I was surprised at the size whenever they actually brought it out. So this to me was actually a really good breakfast. I wouldn't mind getting that like as a to-go sandwich. Oh, she's over there. I see her. Right in the middle. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> she make your heart melt. <laughs> Just a little. <laughs> No, I'm like, oh, get it together. <laughs> awesome. I gotta get a picture of you guys because you kind of match. <laughs> you like that? <laughs> yeah. I even did a bow. <laughs> oh, do I need to turn? <laughs> we gotta see your turn now too. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Can we get a picture? Saw that one. A, oh yeah. He's gotta get full body here. Oh, like this. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> Thanks, Daisy. <laughs> Thank you. Got it. All right, so it has been about an hour. So we were seated uh, around, uh, actually it's probably been a little bit longer than that. It's probably been almost an hour and 15. We were seated around 7.30 or so. Daisy has finally come through. Uh, so. You could probably expect to be here for about an hour to meet all four characters. Um, it might take a little bit longer once they totally fill the restaurant, which it is now full. And uh, because earlier this morning we were here, we were one of the first families. So 
they were kind of moving pretty quickly and the food came out really quickly as well so just something to keep in mind um, for like timing wise if you're planning on coming here for breakfast and then going to the park you know be aware that you might be here between probably about an hour an hour and a half just depending on the flow and how things are going overall though i think that they've done a pretty good job between both breakfast and dinner because we've been here for both now the characters did a really great job today as far as like being very interactive and mingling with guests um, especially daisy she's just going to town with her like ballerina thing all right so we just finished eating here at topolino's terrace mm -hmm. at, at Riviera. yes that was good. It, it was. It was a really good character breakfast. They kind of do it similar to Trattoria Al Forno's breakfast over at the boardwalk. Um, so that's kind of what we were expecting going in and that's actually what it was kind of like. They announce the characters whenever they come out and then they do come around to your table. It's a table service style instead of a buffet and uh, kind of unique breakfast options instead of the regular like eggs and bacon. There's some other cool options. Yeah, I think if you if you really want to come here, you have to have a exploratory palette <laughs> uh, because it is a little bit different. If I had to choose yeah. between this place and Trattoria Al Forno, I would actually go back to Trattoria Al Forno, I think. Mm -hmm. Just on my personal preference, yeah. uh, I felt like the options for me to enjoy were a little bit more on par for myself. Mm -hmm. Here, uh, I don't know. I had a really tough time trying to find something that I might like. Mm -hmm. And the social status was still good. But I would probably go back to Trattoria Al Forno yeah. uh, just as comparison. So if you guys were kind of like wondering, like, what's this place compared to maybe someplace else mm -hmm. that's similar, it would be that. I actually liked my sandwich here better than I liked my breakfast over at Trattoria. Mm -hmm. But I do like both experiences because they're completely different characters, completely different style of food as well. Overall, uh, Taylor got a Bellini, which was $15. Mm -hmm. um, and then both of our meals uh, in total was $103 plus. Mm -hmm. Um, a, a tip usually you know about 20 percent so it's like about 120 it's very expensive it is very expensive especially for what you are getting um, but that is the one thing with character breakfast that you have to go in anticipating is that it is going to be yeah. more expensive because you're basically paying for front of the line access to characters instead of having to sit and wait in a line for mm -hmm. who knows how many minutes or hours yeah here they come right around to your table and you you basically your waiting is eating your food and they have unique outfits as well which yes, is kind of do. the other draw of the whole thing because it's yes. not just mickey in his mickey classic outfit. yes so, yeah. so let us know if you have ever been to breakfast a la art here at topolino's terrace